So yesterday we looked at not comparing our suffering to others, as if there's some kind of league table of those who deserve love and care and those who don't. We looked at the whole thing of that we should uh, recognise that we are worthy enough of receiving love and care and compassion, even if we think our suffering is small compared to others. But we're also recognising that we're not the only ones who are suffering at this time, but we're equally recognising the limitlessness that there is in love. And so the challenge that remains for this is that we don't deny the suffering we're going through, but equally we don't wallow in self-pity. We allow the experiences that we're feeling right now to be a catalyst, reach out and care for others who are feeling maybe the same as us or even worse. That just as we're receiving love from others, we're then going to give it all away because it's that action of choosing to live a life of love that makes this world a better place.